Holy Spirit, I proclaim that the graduation service of the Bethel Bible College be commenced on this day, the 26th March 2011, for the honor and the glory and for the edification of His chosen servants. Amen. And sing for joy with our voices, with our prayers, with our life, and with our love. Amen. Shall we turn to God with praise and thanksgiving? Creator of the universe, your handiworks delights us, your care nurtures us, your steadfastness upholds us. Creator of the universe, with all your sins. Jesus Christ, Son of God, of life awakens us. Your rising from the dead transforms us. Jesus Christ, Son of God, with all your sins. Holy Spirit, breath of life, your vitality empowers us. Your fire illuminates us. Your powerful love unites us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, with all your sins. Privilege, honor to welcome our distinguished girls who is the founder president of the Bethel Bible College and also the founding president of the Gospel Mission of India, Reverend Scott Nolly is also the chief guest and here to bring the graduation address. Is not new to almost all of you. He has been a friend of all of us. All the time visiting us, encouraging us, involving in everything we do with the spirit of dedication, commitment for the cause of promoting scripturally founded, scripturally interpreted, scripturally expounded theology at Bethel Bible College. I also want to thank Dr. Robertson, the principal, our council from time to time, and everything that he has contributed and he continues to contribute to the development of this college, upbringing of this college, taking it to greater heights, maybe every year gaining a new mind. In the history of the Bible College, and also maybe among other colleges affiliated to the Senate of Sarampur College. The Mission of India, Founder President of the Bible College and Honorable Graduation Speaker. Reverend Dr. Pianas Chandra Bose, President of the Bible College. Mrs. Melody Norling, Vice President, Gospel Mission of India. Dr. Leela Bose, Member Executive, other dignitaries, graduating students, guests, friends, professors and students. I have great joy in welcoming you all to the first BD graduation service of Bethel Bible College on this day, the 26th March 2011. Particularly, hearty congratulations to all graduating students who have successfully completed their studies and ready to receive their college diplomas this day. At the outset, I sincerely acknowledge the immense contributions of Joyce Mayer Ministries to Bethel Bible College. Very specifically, with profound gratitude, I appreciate the earnest efforts of Reverend Scott Allen Norling, the International Consultant and Asia Director of Joyce Mayer Ministry, and his beloved wife, Mrs. Melody Norling, in sharing the concerns of Bethel Bible College, the Joyce Mayer Ministries, and other like-minded ministries. Special gratitude and appreciation to Gospel Mission of India for the fervent support, encouragement, 
an inspiration to provide sound, credible and enduring theological education to meet the various ministerial needs of the church at large. I also greet and thank all the dedicated and committed individuals, organizations and churches that are recommending candidates for theological education and ministerial formation at Bethel Bible College. A special day. The 26th March 2011 is a special day in the history of Bethel Bible College. BBC was serving the 2000 by offering GTIs, BTIs and MD programs with accreditation from Asia Theological Association. Although these programs continued until 2009, the vision of the founders of the college to offer a widely accepted degree program for committed men and women for ministerial training came into fruition in 2005 and the college got affiliated with the Senate of Sarambut College to offer BD degree studies. As the first batch of 24 BD students are going to be graduated today, we rejoice in the Lord for enabling us to witness this eventful day. We give all glory and honor to God with humility and, hum and humbling before Him to seek His grace and guidance as we continue our sincere commitment for theological education. We earnestly pray that God will effectively use Compared to the previous years, there was a marked increase in the flow of students for the academic year 2010-11. Due to constraint of accommodation and other infrastructure shortages, we were unable to accommodate all the students who applied for admission. However, we were able to admit altogether 50 new students who are committed to serve and confident of the call for ministry. Of the 50 new students, including five female candidates, one is from Salem Church, 12 are from at least five different orders of Baptist Church, three are from Evangelical Church of India, 21 are from Church of South India, and 13 are from different independent churches. In the process of screening the students, we found that many students have left their previous prospective or lucrative jobs or studies and are committing themselves for ministerial training. And Jeevaraj from BD Upgrading. Thank you, sir. Thank you, service. The scripture portion has been taken from Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 10, verses from 16 through 25. I repeat, Gospel account of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 through 25. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard against men. They will hand, over, hand you over to the local councils and flog you in their synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. 
Brothers, brother will betray a brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. I tell you the truth. You will not finish going through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A student is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the student to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If the head of the house has been called Beelzebub, how much more the members of his household? Here ends the reading. A privilege it is to be back in Guntur. I always enjoy it uh, because it feels like coming home. And uh, I really feel like I'm a part of a big family and uh, this family keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger all the time, which brings me immense joy. And to have journeyed all of these years with uh, Reverend Dr. Chandra Bose, his lovely wife, Leela, and Jeevan and Dorothy, the whole family, and Dr. Robertson and Sean and Lydia and all the staff, I tell you, I am privileged to get to partner, to be a part of extraordinary things, of which I do really not so much. So although I've uh, found it flattering hearing my name so often read, um, I must confess, I, I'm really not doing maybe as all of what they're claiming I'm doing. So that's a confession I want to get away with right off the start. Okay, this is going to sound better, is it? There's a message that's been growing in my heart for some time, and I think it's extraordinarily appropriate for all of you students. It's the message of hope. You know, we find in 1 Corinthians 13 that there is faith, hope, and love. And I think we hear a lot about faith. We hear a lot about love, but I don't know that we talk enough and minister enough out of the idea of hope. Because that's what the world is looking for. They're looking for hope, real hope. And when you think about the incredible events that have been happening in the world these last number of years, and whether those are natural events in terms of the tsunami and the earthquakes and the catastrophes, natural catastrophes, where you see economic turmoil throughout the, the globe, food security. How many of you have been hurt by the 16% rising food inflation in India alone? I can tell you that the United Nations, maybe their top priority is world food security. And people are wondering, they're, they've got their doubts, they have their fears. I think more than anything else, what the Church of Jesus Christ offers is hope. You called us through your son Jesus Christ, so that we may be called the children of God. Redeemer Christ, you have called us by name and sent us into the world as ambassadors to proclaim the good news of salvation to the lost humankind, to bind the brokenhearted and to set the captives free and thereby reconcile and restore the broken relationship between God and human. And we have an advocate of God, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. Therefore, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Almighty God forgives all who truly repent of their sins, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you.
Thanks be to God. Amen. Life looms ahead of us, huge and uncertain. In the confusion, we must listen for the voice of God. Who can hear the voice of God calling? Yeah. The expectations of our friends feel so overwhelming, leading us to make choices for our own comfort. Who can focus on the call to serve God? Yeah. Hunger, greed, hopelessness prevail in our world, making it difficult to believe that God still works. Who can speak good news in the face of evil? Yeah. Our voice seems so small against the misery we hear. Parties, wars, famines, and violence. Who can listen to the voice of our cry? Yeah. Students of Bethel Bible College, you are reminded that when you enter the wider arena of life, outside these college walls, you will be expected to serve Jesus, your master following his footsteps as he came to serve and not to be served. You are invited to make the following promises as we together join in the act of dedication of our lives for the greater glory of God and the establishment of his kingdom here on earth. Will you at all times strive hard to establish unity among all people, even as you serve them with the spirit of Christ in humility and sincerity? Will you endeavor always to speak the truth in love by your commitment to the cause of unity, witness, and service, and encourage others to follow Christ, your master and your model? Will you apply all your diligence to frame and fashion your own life according to the teachings of Christ, and give yourself to lead a prayerful and disciplined life so that you both, for both you and your household, will be wholesome examples within and without in word, in deed, in love, in faith, and in purity. As graduates of Bethel Bible College, will you uphold and promote the vision and the lasting values inherited from the dedicated, committed founders and leaders and continue to expect great things from God and attempt great things for God? A.G. Guruvinda Pali Supriya. Kastala Ashok Kumar. Joshua Vijayasagar D. Dilip Kumar Kandala. Watson Karamati. Nalapuz Sidaka Rao. Prasant Manga. Gandhapudi Sadir Babu, A. Jack Samuel, T. Wilson Vinso Raj,
of these young men and women as they stand at one of the great crossroads of life. Grant them a deep sense of your presence and gentleness and humility. Strengthen their steadfastness to walk in the footsteps of the Master all the days of their life till they hear from you, good and faithful servant. Go forth into the world remembering Christ continues to see with your eyes, touch with your hands, move with your feet, hear with your ears, and all who behold you, behold Christ in and through you. Go out unto the world as witness and channels of life and blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen. Main stand.